Hello, this is Michael at my Crooked Road Homestead. Hope everyone's getting along all right today. Well, it's going to be another nice hot day. Cash is around there barking. He's ready for his breakfast. I've been out here taking care of all the animals this morning. Got the rabbits. They're all taken care of. Move that rabbit pen. I wanted to show you up here while I'm up here. Might as well show you. But I've had this rab rabbit tractor sitting here. I moved it this morning. I let it sit for two days. And you look down there, you can see all that rabbit poop. You see, I just move it over. And you can see back there, this is all rabbit poop. And what that's going to do is, as I move this, and it gets rained on and stuff, it's just going to fertilize this ground a whole lot. It's going to help. And I'm having, you know, there's nothing to moving this tractor. And also, I built these new waters. I'll show them to you. What they was was baking pans, bread pans. And I had a bunch of extra ones. So I took them and I screwed them together like that to give them water. These, uh, I've been looking for uh, these nipples uh, for pop bottles because they want like $10 for one of those waters now, and that's crazy. I'm not going to spend $10 for water. But you can see those rabbits are just drinking out of it and everything. And I've got one of these on in each of these pens. But anyway, I am finally got this thing together down here. This three-hole rabbit tractor, I finally got it together. All I need to do is go get me some more zip ties and put my top on, but I've got the top on it, but I wanted to show it. I'm finally, finally getting down to the, I still got to get some more two-by-fours or rip those back there to get where I can put that tarp on this. But here she is. She's, she's just about on the final stage, you see. Here's the door. I've got to cut this off right here. It's at there. These were the axles of the side, so they worked out perfect on that. And they're 24 or so, and this being 21, well, they're working out perfect. And back here, I'm going to zip tie these. You can see down through there, they're even with this here. And I'll zip tie them here, and they'll just work out great. So that came out a little bit, and I got a little room there. And, for flipping them up. But anyway, here it is. I've got her all just about done. I'm getting down on on the back side of it. So now I have three holes in this in this tractor. And uh, I'm really I'm really liking it. It's coming out good. So and I'm gonna get be able to separate three of them does out of that out of that mess up there and that tractor up there. I'm going to get three more does in there. And then that way it's going to give me, with that dough up there, that old dough up there, that'll give me four new does. And then I'm going to keep one buck out of there. And then I'm going to process the, the rest of those rabbits. And then uh, I'm going to keep two does out of that pen and one doe out of this other litter. Just to see, that way that, that'll fill up these this pen with three does. I'll have three does in 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 these in this tractor here, and uh, you know, uh, with four does, and let's say they average ten babies, ten kits, you know, and they do ten times times three. That's thirty rabbits. That's 30 kits, and then you take that times four, well, that's going to give me 120 rabbits to be able to process and eat. So that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, I'm trying to think ahead. You know, the way the price of everything is, it's, it's kind of hard to, the cost of everything's just gone up so much. I mean, feed, you know, I used to pay like $14 for a 50 pound bag of feed. Now it's up to 20 some dollar, 22, I think is what I gave for that last 50 pound bag. 
So it all goes up, and everything's going up. You know, and it's it's crazy. I don't know how they expect people like myself to be able to survive. And if I didn't have these rabbits to process and eat, well, then, you know, I wouldn't be eating a lot of meat. I don't eat a lot of meat anyway, but, and uh, I'm, uh, I showed you where my friend brought over, brought over those T-bones to me and gave to me and shared with me. But I don't, I really don't get to eat much. I, I eat pork mainly. I eat pork, chicken, fish, some fish. When my friends, when they go trout fishing, or my friends that that still limb line and noodle bring me fish. Well, uh, I don't eat much fish, but I I enjoy fish. I like to eat fish, but it's just uh, you know I've gotten at the age I I used to love to fish, but it's so hard for me to get around anymore, and I can't walk the the banks, the river banks and stuff. I can't do all that up hiking like I used to be able to. So that, you know, but with friends, I still get to enjoy the benefits every, every once in a while. Anyway, my friend across the road, Tucker, he's coming out. I don't know where he's going, don't really care. But anyway, that's kind of what I've got going on this morning. I just wanted to show you that I finally got this three hole. I'm down on the backside of it. So I'm glad to have it on the backside. That wasn't Tucker. I don't know who that was in that truck. That's his truck. That's one of his trucks, but I don't know who it was in there. So anyway, well, I'm going to get off here. But as I always say, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Share it with others. Hit the notification bell. Give me a thumbs up. Have a blessed day, and I will see you on the next one. Okay, bye.